Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company, and if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, how can you remove old wax and polish off of your trim? So we're gonna be answering that question and more in today's FAQ video. Now, waxing, compounding, polishing is all fun and games until you hit your trim, and then you forget about it, and then you put it outside, it dries, and you have a very unsightly white mark on your rubber or black trim. Now, how do you go about fixing that? Well, the good news is that you can fix it if you get to it soon enough. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the reason why it turns white in the first place is because there are abrasives and there are also solvents within those compounds, waxes, polishes that you may have used that have caused that. So depending on how long they bake in the sun and they stick there, they could be temporary or they could stick around forever. But I do have a couple different options on how to remedy that regardless. So let's say you just hit the trim, you got it on there, you pulled it outside, you come back the next day and you got a white mark. How can you remove that? pretty easily. In front of me is Optimum Power Clean, an all-purpose cleaner that I can dilute as needed. So for removing old polish or stains on trim, I'd probably dilute it down to 10 to 1 to 20 to 1, and then take a microfiber towel, spray it on there, rub the trim, buff that off, and call it good. And like I said, you could probably do this technique uh, anywhere from a day to maybe a couple weeks to a month after the incident has happened. Uh, the best thing to do is to tr obviously try to remove any compound wax or anything that you get on the trim as soon as you possibly can. Now let's just say it's been a little bit longer than that. It's been months, even up to a year. How do you clean up that trim? Optimum Hyper Polish here. So this is counterintuitive and it is not what you would think it would mean, but yes, that is a polish right there. I'm asking you to polish out the trim that you got polish on previously that stained the trim. That doesn't make any sense, right? Well, it does for this example. So Optimum Hyper Polish doesn't stain trim. It could actually restore and clean trim, which is just crazy because it's safe on plastics, it's safe on rubber, and it will not overly shine them up, if that makes sense. So if you've got something on your trim, you can take this, a microfiber towel, scrub it a little bit and remove the excess on there and you'll be back to new. Now, let's just say it's been years. It's been a decade, right? And you have had this stain on that trim forever and it just hasn't come out. You've used all-purpose cleaner, you've used Optimum Hyper Polish and it is still in there. So that's when you may have to just re-dye it which is why Solution Finish comes into play. Now, Solution Finish is a trim restorer. And by restorer, I mean it actually restores. It's not a temporary dressing. This is something that you apply onto your trim, whether it's faded, whether it's grayed out, or whether it's got a stain on it, and it will truly return that back to black. It is freaking incredible stuff, and it lasts a very long time. Typically, you only need to do this once a year, and you're gonna be good to go. So. What I would recommend doing is regardless of how old that polish or compound or whatever it is on the trim, if you can remove it during the time that you are applying it, perfect, right? There's nothing to worry about. But let's just say it's a couple days later, a couple weeks later, and you use one of these two processes here, the idea is you wanna re-moisturize that trim. That trim is either rubber or it's either a plastic that needs to have some protection in it. So if you use an all-purpose cleaner, it's gonna dry it out. If you use an ice propyl alcohol, it's going to dry it out. If you use a polish, it's going to dry it out eventually. So go back over with some type of protection. So whether it be solution finish or taking a dressing or taking another style of sealant, go back over that trim to keep it protected and looking fresh for the future. So hopefully that answers the question of what kind of products can you use to remove old stains on trim and then how to restore it and ultimately keep it protected. Now one long-term thing you can do is actually ceramic coat your trim. You can take some of this stuff, coat your trim, get it back to black, and then take an actual ceramic coat by companies like G-Technic or any other company out there that creates something that's meant for trim, go over it, and now you have a permanent trim solution. So hopefully you found all this information helpful. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more and leave a comment on future FAQs you'd like to see. And stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company FAQ channel.